Welcome to the podcast, Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business by Coach James Short. This podcast is designed to help you with strategies, insights, and ways to increase sales, build and lead high-performing teams, and ultimately grow your business. Your host, James Short himself, also shares some of his secret sources on how he helps his own clients achieve business growth quickly and easily. James has been coaching those in the real estate and property industry for close to 10 years now, and his clients keep on saying, since working with James, their results have been outstanding, giving them more money, time, and fulfillment. James is offering a free strategy call to those listening to see how he can assist you to take your business to where you want to go. Simply go to jamesshort.com.au forward slash strategy and book in a time today. Now on with the show. Hi and welcome to another edition of Leading and Growing Your Real Estate Business. This is Coach James Short and welcome to another episode. Do we have a special guest for you? Oh my goodness. This guy has been there, done that. He's built businesses, sold businesses, and he's going to share some secret sources and strategies with you. Scott Gallaty is here and he's just going to do, mate, he's a change maker. He's, he helps marketers, consultants, tech experts, and engineers to build data-driven decision-making capability with innovative, disruptive technology platforms. He's built eight-figure businesses and it isn't all rainbows and unicorns. Oh, I'm looking forward to hearing more about this. Uh, cash flow is a constant pain and he gets it. It's like you're hurting cats sometimes. Revenues are ups and downs and, and you know, you might have a, an array of complex different spreadsheets and isolated platforms hanging out there together like a MacGyver style with sticky tape and paper clips, but there's no visibility in how the company's performing, let alone making smart decisions around resourcing and growth decisions. And so this is where Scott's expertise and his business really helps other business owners to do this. And we're super excited to have him on today's session. Mate, welcome, welcome, welcome. So good to have you. Thank you. Well, what an introduction, James. Thank you very much, brother. Really right. uh, love to be here. I've been pumped to get you on because I've just been, you know, we've had little chats here and there, but just to share that love and share that experience and that knowledge with the listeners, mate, you've been there, you've got the scars, you've built the businesses, you've helped many other clients do the same, but let's, let's start off with a bit of a history lesson. Let's start yeah. off with that, you know, that where did it all start? How did it all start? And, and where is it today? Well, mate, like most business owners, you know, you're in corporate, you're just feeling pretty underwhelmed with the whole experience, wondering, you know, is this all there is? Mm. Um, working on a project, I'm a project manager in the IT world by trade, working on a project for two years. Suddenly the boss walks in and says, uh, Scotty, I need you to go home for the day. I'm like, all right, no worries. Never heard from them again. I was a contractor. The business had been bought and everyone got fired. Oh, awesome. So I was like, yeah. Time to start my own gig. I'm done here. <laughs> and instead of working corporate, I'm going to start working with small business and I'm going to do what I love, which is helping them build systems, help them automate things, get visibility over what's going on and help improve profit at the same time. And that's what I've been doing for the last four or five years now. So yeah, not with those ups and downs though, I've got to say. Yeah, I mean, and that's, the, I guess, the roller coaster of business. And, and you know, you, you've seen some, some great businesses out there. You've seen probably some shocking businesses out there. But like, if you look at business today, where do you think, where do you think business owners get it wrong? Like, you know, because everyone wants to grow, they want to scale, but, but do they really understand what that actually means? Yeah. Look, there's a couple of really, I guess, uh, drop off points that I find. And the first is that they try to scale perhaps a little bit too early. And it's like, until you get that nice consistent, um, forecast, you know, sort of uh, forecast lead flow that you can put your hand on your heart and say, this is how much business I'm going to generate this month. You can't grow the team. You got to get that sold. And that's a big gap that I see. Once you have that, it becomes the systems. And this is where we help the most is like you bring in on team members, the business is going up, you may be making more revenue, but profit is going in the opposite direction. And you're scratching your head going, <laughs> where's it gone? Where's it going? There's no cash. <laughs> Like you've got this like leaky bucket and I like to think of your business like a machine and at each stage in the machine, a little bit of oil or a bit of water leaks out. And then at the end, hopefully you've still got half a bucket 
but sometimes you have sometimes you have nothing and sometimes you're pouring more <laughs> keep on pouring, more keep pouring. <laughs> to keep it going uh, and that's where your systems help right helping to get the team to not just guess what to do but to follow your lead and create that customer experience that you want to have visibility over what's going on to be able to measure it work out where the water's or the oil's dropping out yep. and then come up with ways to fix it and that's the sort of things that we do for small businesses in Aussie so where do you think tell me like obviously people come to you business owners come to you and they've got problems they want to build they want to scale they know that need to do their systems where where do most business owners get the systems wrong yeah good question i think that um a lot of people just bring in team members slap down a technology platform and go off you go you'll be right mate go and without, get your computer see you later <laughs> see you later i'm sure you'll be fine um, without really putting the two things that you need to balance that out and, and one's the steps in the process yep and defining that and the other is a way of measuring it yeah and you know we find the first system you really need to set up is that sales system um, so that you're getting oxygen you're getting the oil into the start of the machine and that's where we really have specialized and narrowed the focus of the business to help people really solve that gap first um, so that you know the rest of the machine is well oiled and i think like that sales process is so important because you know talking to a lot of business owners there they do fly by the seat of their pants and they do hope that you know they've got a some sort of system but it's up in their head and then they bring someone else on and they've got their baggage that they bring in their head and hang so on so forth so how do you how do you unpack that with a client like what I mean, obviously you've got an amazing process and, you know, speaking to some of your clients, they're just flying because you've, you helped them map it out. But how do you get a business owner's stuff out of their head and start to get them to see the light and start to, to map that out? Look, everybody learns and likes to sort of unpack things a little bit differently, but I think visual is often the best. And we actually like literally map out step by step what the customer experience is they want to create actually is so forget forget sales tell me what do you want the customer to see to think to feel to hear to do and let's get that out in a nice visual set of boxes and lines work out well where's this where's the sales portion of that yep. and how to get them from just discovered you to signing an agreement and then it's about well now we need a technology platform to do that and that's almost the easy bit that's gold right because it's because it becomes then real, doesn't it? Becomes that that journey, like you know, that client journey, that client. How do we take them from here to there? And so it doesn't become around the business. Becomes how do we impact the client and take them on that journey? That's gold. And and yeah, you're right because so many people are visual, and and then they can actually then see those steps, see their processes, and then what is required behind the scenes in order to make that that flow or that transition. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Now let's get personal. Now you've had some scars, you've had some, you know, you've gone the ups and downs. Where, where are some of the things that <clears throat> the challenges that you've experienced in the past, that you've come through the other side at that time, it wasn't very nice, but you've come through the other side and you go, wow, that was a really amazing lesson. What could you share around that? And what did you, what was that challenge? And what was the, the lesson that you got from that? Well, look, I think for me, the biggest challenge has ended up being where we actually can specialize our business. And that's, I was the so expert. I was the expert consultant, the project manager, that kind of guy, the technician when I started my business yep. and I couldn't sell to save my life. <laughs> Honestly, James, I should be in the bottom of my mum's basement playing computer games. I cut my ponytail off right before this session. I, I swear. Love it's it. been on top of the whole thing. Love um, it. And for me, you know, and the first good 12, 18 months of business, trying to automate other businesses, selling them on how awesome the email features were and things like that. Yep. It didn't work. We didn't convert. We weren't making money and sales is oxygen. Yeah. So I was suffocating. Yep. And the business sort of kicks off okay because you're in your network and you're doing some things well, but then it tanks when you ex exhaust that. So I had to systemize sales. I went and got sales training. I built my sales system and it's wow. evolved and grown since then. And I know I convert higher than most of the you know, traditional salespeople. That's what, I, that's what I love, right? I love talking to entrepreneurs like yourself because they've gone through the hard yards, but they've actually taken those lessons on and making it, made it 
their advantage and shift it around go, okay, there's my gap. What do I need to do to fulfill that gap? Like a leaky bucket, right? Scenario. What do I need to plug the holes? So then we can then take it to, to the next level gold on the flip side, right? What's been some of the memorable wins that you've had? What are some of those, those success points, those highlights that you can share? And, and how did you get to those points? Well, when the system works, obviously it feels amazing. And when the system works for some of the largest clients that, you know, some of your partners and software vendors that you work with, you know, their largest clients in Australia, and you manage to actually do those deals by following your system, that feels pretty good. That's amazing. We've, now we have done some some cracking large deals in the uh, businesses that are probably even beyond the scope of what we'd normally work with. So hundreds of of people wow. um, just by following you know our qualification, uh, our engagement processes through to conclusion. And mate, when you do that, that's you so get a deal for yourself and you get a deal for your partners. It's a uh, that's a that's pretty huge. cracking feeling, mate. Well done, well done. I love that. So over the years of business in yourself. There's obviously been many people that have helped you, shaped you, mentored you, you've learned from. Who have been some of those instrumental people that have helped you to get to where you are today? Yeah, there's been many. And can I say up front that uh, I feel like, like, speaking only from man's point of view, that everyone, every man should have a mentor all through the different journeys of their life. And I'm sure the thing applies to, to women as well, but certainly from man's perspective, I wish I had someone in high school, yeah, in early adulthood, uh, in when I first started business, I uh, first started work and into business. So I've had mentors through most of that, but I wish I started earlier. Um, certainly recently, I've had some key mentors, one in my business partner, Paul Higgins. He runs a fantastic community called Build, Live, Give, which is helping people leave corporate and build businesses. Uh, and he's been instrumental in holding me accountable to all of my dumb ideas. Love it. Um, and celebrating the wins as well, right? And that's what a good mentor does. So um, true. So true. So he, he's really helped me on the journey. That's awesome. So if you were to share three pieces of advice for the listeners out there in relations to, to their systems and, and the ability to scale, what would those three pieces of, of advice be? Look, sales is oxygen. And I think a lot of people that start consulting bids or start a little business focus so much on that awesome solution that mm. they sometimes neglect patting the pavement and getting deals get solid lead flow work out how to convert that into dollars all right and focus on that first yeah so you got that done you know sales solves all problems in a lot well <laughs> can do uh, should do um <laughs> the second is if you're in a consulting based business uh, or similar sort of thing work out how to get recurring revenue big problem i had if we go back to those kind of challenges Every month, I had to sell a bunch of new projects to new clients. And it doesn't matter how good at sales you are, that is extremely tiring. Yeah, so true. And high risk because if you had a bad month, you're, you're stuck. Whereas if you get um, either recurring revenue uh, based on whatever your product or service is or lots of upsells and cross-sells and additional add-ons that you can kind of float out over time, that's the sort of model you want. Um, Love it to be successful uh, and something that I mentioned earlier, the third and, and final is before you scale consistent lead flow. Yeah. Cool. Whether it's a good marketing campaign that proves to produce X number of leads or maybe it's a partner yep. who's actually sending you leads per month, make sure you lock that in because if you can't, you cannot scale with confidence. That's all those three points are so crucial for our listeners because one is getting that that sales flow and that sales system so systemized because a lot of um, you know real estate agents and those in the property industry it is haphazard and and and, and they just go by the seat of their pants and hope some have structure which is great and you can see by the results the second component which i love is a lot of them out there are just focusing on listing and selling real estate where if you can take the blinkers off there is so much more opportunity out there. You have your property management, which is your asset, which is an ongoing, as you said, month in, month out, subscription, almost, you know, fee. But you also have opportunity for, for referrals through financing, brokerage and all that kind of stuff where you just need to take the blinkers off and go, 
how else can I serve my customer, my mm-hmm. client, and how else can I add value to them? And then which comes to the third component, which I love, which is around that marketing campaign, the consistency around that is that so often they get busy prospecting and then they get stock on and then they take their eyes off their prospecting because they need to service those clients. But yet really, and then what becomes a, an up and down approach, but you get your marketing piece right and the engine just builds and it gets stronger and stronger. And that's when the, the scale starts to really take place. So those three points, mate. Ooh, well, and, and, and to add your point specific for your real estate, because I know there's uh, you know, many people uh, listening to the podcast that are in that realm and that's um, the salespeople you've got on your team, you know the style of people they are and uh, you know, putting information into databases and following systems can be a challenge. You've really got to take a customer-centric approach to that, follow the advice I've said and map the journey out, not how you want to sell. Yeah. Yeah. understand how the customer wants because that's what the sales guys are also trying to do right they're trying to help them map that out that'll bring them along on the journey find some simple tools and we've helped many real estate agents work out exactly this in a nice crm that will then support the salesperson to do their job that's gold that is gold so mate what's coming up for you what's uh, what's the future looking what's the next three six twelve months for you guys what's happening in well, your world a uh, lot of cool stuff. So um, we are looking at different sort of verticals and looking to help lots of different industries to um, you know, benefit from the same kind of uh, systems that we set up for a lot of service providers. So we're looking at helping different industries like uh, financial planning and advisory, real estate, uh, other services. So that's really exciting. Um, looking to uh, grow our partner base so that um, we're not just providing the systems, but we can also help people learn how to sell better and all the sort of things that are related to you know, increasing revenue uh, and adjusting profit. Fantastic. Fantastic. So then so that being said, where can the listeners go? Where can you send them to find out more, get in contact, get in touch with you? We love LinkedIn and we are constantly educating our audience through LinkedIn. We've got LinkedIn Live, one of the only people in Australia with that. Um, plus a lot of posts. So I encourage you to jump on LinkedIn slash in Scott Gallatly. Uh, you'll find me. Uh, can you put that link in your show notes or is there yeah, somewhere yeah, you can put that up? Definitely awesome. we should put that in. So that is the first place. Hit a connection request and just mention this podcast. Um, I'll hook up with you. And then I've got heaps of great content to help you uh, systemize for scale. Love it. Guys, get in touch with Scott. He's a mover and a shaker. He's a legend and a guru. Really appreciate your time today and mate, gold nuggets all the way through. Thank you so much. Thanks, James. Love it, mate. Cheers.